from the studios at Bossier Parish Community College, this is Bipsy News. Good afternoon, Bossier City. Welcome to the Bipsy News. I'm Sarah Patterson. And I'm Sydney Parker. Let's take a look at what's going on around campus. The Rotaract Club of Bipsy has partnered with the Food Bank of Northwest Louisiana to create an emergency food pantry to help serve those students with food insecurities. It's open today until 1 p.m. on the first floor of Building D in room 113. The Bipsy Gospel Choir has been selected to participate in the 43rd Annual Red River Revel Arts Festival. The choir will be performing at the Revel on Sunday, October 7th at 2 p.m. on the El Dorado stage in downtown Shreveport. Admission is $5 at the door or admission is free if you don donate three or more non-perishable food items to the Junior League Pantry. Bipsy Green will sponsor a plant sale next week from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. in H114. Plants available for sale will be century plants, peace lilies, African violets, and root beer plants. Prices will vary based on the size of the plants. An election is held each fall to select a homecoming court to be presented at the homecoming basketball game, which is held during the spring semester. The court consists of a king and queen, three sophomore maids, and three freshman maids. The sophomore candidate receiving the highest number of votes serves as the queen. The next interest meeting is Tuesday, October 9th at 1230 in F220. A University of Louisiana Monroe recruiter will be in Building F from 9 a.m. to noon next Tuesday, October 9th, to discuss transferring to ULM for the spring 2019 semester. Representatives will be able to evaluate unofficial transcripts and answer any questions regarding ULM admissions and scholarship opportunities. The Bipsy Culinary Arts Program offers a buffet on Tuesday nights from 5 to 6.30 p.m. on the second floor of Building F, room 203. The cost is $7 per person and to-go to to boxes are available. The buffet is open to the public. Coming up after the break, Adam Stampley will let you know what to expect around the Arklatex with your weather this weekend. And we'll update you on the latest food recall. Stay tuned. Hey there, I'm Adam Stampley with your weather forecast. Coming up after the break, I'll tell you your current temperatures, temperatures here at Bipsy as well as your five-day forecast. Are you already a welder and want to advance your skills? Interested in having a higher salary potential and stronger employment demand? At Bossier Parish Community College, you can acquire the skills in one semester to become an AWS certified welding inspector. Our first of its kind advanced welding program at Bossier Parish Community College includes courses in new welding technology, management, supervision, and the economics of welding. Become workforce ready for today's high demand, high income advanced welding jobs. To learn more, call us at 318-678-6000. FSHD is one of the most common forms of muscular dystrophy. It's a degenerative disease that weakens muscles in the face, shoulders, upper back, and legs. FSHD robs you of your smile and makes simple tasks nearly impossible to perform. FSHD affects hundreds of thousands of people, but most have never met another patient. Many have not even been diagnosed. Someone you know may be living with FSHD. Let them know they are not alone and that we're making real advances toward a treatment. You can help by going to our website, fshsociety.org slash curefshd, and share the photos and facts about the disease using the hashtag curefshd. By simply raising awareness, you could change someone's life and help us get closer to a cure. Something's not right. My first symptoms were constant tingling in my toes, my legs. Sometimes I'll go numb. I had double vision. They said you have multiple sclerosis. Well, the beginning is the hardest time. Kind of had to get a grasp on reality. I had to adapt and change very rapidly. I had to learn how to drive with my hands. Yeah, that was interesting. I was a dancer. I don't see walking the way I walk any different than doing a dance. It just looks different. It's a different dance. You see me have an off day, it doesn't take away from who I am. A symptom may cause you not to be able to do that anymore. And at one point, I wasn't able to do any of those. But I would exercise every day. Since I've been cycling, it's definitely helped my walking. To make a lot of changes in my life and just adapt to it. I'm going to acknowledge its presence. I'm not going to discount it. But at the same time, I'm going to try my best to not let it stop me. It's a fantastic opportunity to be working together with a common goal of carrying MS. And sharing is the key.
Bossier Parish Community College, the fastest growing community college in the nation. Wonder why? The Division of Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics at Bossier Parish Community College provide cutting edge technology to students, along with national certifications that allow them to be competitive in today's job market. Uh, the main reason I decided to come to Bossier Parish Community College was when I looked at the networking program, it was the best in the area. Bossier Parish Community College. Check us out, you'll understand why. Take a look at our current temperatures. And Marshall currently is 80 degrees, and Natchitoches is at 78. Texarkana is at 82, as well as Ruston at 82. Menden goes back up to 83, and Natchitoches is at 82. Let's take a look at our Bipsy weather. Currently it is 90 degrees with a humidity of 70%, with a dew point of 73 degrees. Our wind is at from the south southeast at 10 miles per hour, and our sunset tonight is at 6:54 p.m. Now for our five-day forecast. Coming up on Saturday, we have an 80, a high of 88 and a low of 74 with a 20% chance of rain. On Sunday, we have a high of 87 and a low of 71 with a 60% chance of rain. And on Monday, we have an, a high of 87 and a low of 72 with a 20% chance of rain. Next up on Tuesday, we have a high of 83 and a low of 71 with a 40% chance of rain. And to end out our week, we'll go to Wednesday with a high of 82 and a low of 64 with a 60% chance of rain. This has been your weather with me, Adam Stampley. Let's take it back to the news desk. Many filmmakers create projects each year, but only 20 are selected to compete for the $50,000 cash prize during the Louisiana Film Prize Festival. These 20 sh shorts were curated by the Film Prize Selection Committee, which is made up of entertainment industry professionals such as writers, directors, producers, journalists, critics, playwrights, actors, and more. And all, there's over 40 members to the selection committee. Now their work is done and yours is to begin. Attend the festival, watch all 20 films, and choose your favorites to win the big cash prize. Go online to filmprize.org and get your tickets today and enjoy your weekend of watching movies. If you use I-220 as part of your commute, expect some delays next week. The following I-220 eastbound and westbound intermittent lanes closures from US-71 to LA-173 in Caddo Parish will be in effect. Monday, left eastbound lane. Tuesday, left westbound lane. Wednesday, both left eastbound and left westbound lanes. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, the left westbound lane. All of these lane closures are scheduled to take place from 9 o'clock a.m. to 3 p.m. and are related to the I-49 segment K2 project currently under construction in Shreveport. This work will be performed weather permitting. Tonight's Mega Million drawings could make some lucky person or group of people very rich. The $405 million jackpot is in the top 10 Mega Million jackpots of all time. No one matched all six numbers on Tuesday, so people still have until 8.45 p.m. tonight to try their luck. Mega Million tickets cost $2 each, but the odds of matching all five white balls and one gold are one in more than 302 million. More than 89,000 pounds of ready-to-eat ham is being recalled because it may contain listeria. Johnson County Hams issued the recall after four cases of listeriosis were linked to its products since last July. A sickened patient in Virginia died. The three other cases were reported in both Virginia and North Carolina. Ham that could be contaminated was also distributed to Maryland, New York, and South Carolina. It includes products marketed under the Johnston County Hams, Old Dominion Pados, and Goodnight Brothers labels. All of the affected products are listed in the USDA's website. Consumers who, consumers who have any of the listed items are advised to return them to the place or purchase or th place of purchase or throw them away. The drawers and shelves of any refrigerator or freezer that stored the ham should, be also, should also be sanitized. Unfortunately, ham isn't the only recall. Salmonella could be lurking in your fridge as well. There are two massive nationwide recalls on beef and eggs due to contamination. Kim Hutcherson has more. More than six and a half million pounds of beef products distributed by Arizona-based producer JBS Tolson are being recalled. At least 57 cases of salmonella illness are linked to this outbreak in 16 states, according to the USDA. The recalled products were packaged between July 26th and September 7th and were sold under the brand names Walmart, Cedar River Farms Natural Beef, Showcase, Showcase Walmart, and JBS Generic. All have the USDA inspection mark EST267. Meantime, Gravel Ridge Farms in Alabama is recalling its cage-free large eggs after 38 people in seven states got sick from salmonella. 
The eggs in question were packaged in one dozen and two and a half dozen cardboard containers and sold primarily in grocery stores in Alabama, Tennessee, and Georgia, with best if used by dates of July 25th to October 3rd. Health officials say make sure you cook all ground beef to an internal temperature of 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Use a food thermometer to make sure it's cooked. And when it comes to eggs, they're cooked when the yolks and white are firm. Avoid foods that contain raw or lightly cooked eggs. For today's Health Minute, I'm Kim Hutcherson. Coming up next, we have the latest on Tom Brady and sports news. And stay tuned to see what may help lower your risk of ovarian cancer. Cooking is an important part of holiday celebrations for many families, and children love to be a part of it. Take steps to keep them safe this holiday season, especially in the kitchen. Prevent fires by making sure your stovetop and oven are clean and free of grease. Keep towels and pot holders away from hot surfaces. Never hold a child while cooking or when removing hot food from the microwave, oven, or stove. In fact, keep children at least three feet away from all cooking appliances. To protect from spills and burns, turn the pot handles in, away from reaching hands. Children must be supervised at all times in the kitchen. Never leave the kitchen when something's cooking. A fire or accident can happen in an instant. Once your holiday meal is ready, check that the stove and oven are turned off and that other kitchen appliances are unplugged and out of reach. Make safety a tradition. Best wishes for a happy and safe holiday season from ESFI. Tom Brady, Tom Brady threw his 500th career touchdown pass on Thursday night in the New England, New England Patriots 38-24 victory against the Indianapolis Colts, becoming the third player in NFL history to do so. Midway through the fourth quarter, Brady launched the ball 34 yards deep into the end zone at Gillette Stadium on what looked like a long shot. Wide receiver Josh Gordon jumped through two Colt defenders and expertly snagged the ball, coming down with his first touchdown in New England and mar marking Brady's 500th. Fans of the New Orleans style fast food chain Popeyes might say fried chicken is so good it's as good as gold. But on Thursday, the restaurant is offering poultry that is literally golden. Six boneless wings dunked in champagne and slathered with 24 karat gold batter. Like the precious metal itself, the golden chicken is not easy to come by. It's only available for a single day and only in four locations. Those locations are Anaheim, California, and Elizabeth, New Jersey, New York City, and New Orleans. As far as the golden products go, the price is a bargain, just five bucks, including a biscuit and a side dish. Popeye says the Boulon batter bird might become available in more locations in the future if demand is high. 
Women who regularly take a daily low-dose aspirin may lower their risk of develop, de developing ovarian cancer. The study in medical journal JAMA Oncology found that this doesn't apply to standard dose aspirin and frequent use of non-aspirin pills like ibuprofen and naproxen might increase the chance of cancer. Better late to the Halloween party than never, an asteroid shaped like the grinning skull is set to pass by Earth on November 11th. Asteroid 2015 TB145 was first discovered in 2015 when it zipped within 301,986 miles of the Earth right on Halloween. According to NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory Small Body Object Database, the asteroid's next flyby will not be nearly so close. It will pass about 24 million miles from our planet and about a quarter of the distance from Earth to the Sun. The next pass time for 2015 TB 145 approaches Earth won't be until 2082. Our suns are, will pass about a third of the distance between Earth and the Sun. Time Magazine's latest cover brings together the face of Christine Blasey Ford with her testimony before the Senate Judiciary Committee last week. Ford described to senators how she says Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh sexually assaulted her when they were both in college. Kavanaugh denies that allegation. The illustration is composed of words and phrases Ford used during her testimony. Artist John Marvado drew each letter by hand. He placed the words in symbolically significant locations in the illustration. Quotes about Ford's memories were placed on her forehead and quotes about wanting help were placed on her hands. A plane soars seriously close to a high-rise building and a new Swedish queen in one family's budget is shredded by their two-year-old. St Steve Nannis has today's Take a Look at This. You've got to be kidding me. Take a look at how close this plane came to clipping a high-rise building in Brisbane, Australia. The low-flying plane looks like it was skimming the water before abruptly soaring upward. The Australian Air Force says it was conducting a pre-planned exercise. And check out this other close call. A New York man left his car in drive while he went into a gas station. A quick-thinking patron at the pump prevented an accident by jumping into the car and stopping it before it hit oncoming traffic. This eight-year-old is being called the new Queen of Sweden by Swedish locals. Saga Vanasek discovered this pre-Viking era sword in a Swedish lake. She first thought it was a stick, but then noticed the handle and pointy end. Experts believe the sword is 1,500 years old. We all know toddlers can push parents' buttons, but this time it came with costly consequences. A thousand dollars saved for season football tickets shredded by little Leo. Life's not all in tatters, though. Leo's parents can mail the shreds to the U.S. Department of Treasury for mutilated money and then wait one to two years. For Take a Look at This, I'm Steve Nannis. All right, coming up after the break, Adam is going to give us our weather recap. And stick around and see how birds in the north are managing to get drunk. When I lost my sight, the only thing I had was reading. When you discover you have an impairment, it can change your life. So take a little time to find the resources that are going to help you restore what you've lost. Whatever your needs are, 99.9% .9 of them can be met by the NLS program. There's all kinds of formats that you can choose from. You can choose from large print or braille or audio. Just can't recommend it enough. It's a free service. It's amazing how much you can get. It has expanded my writing. And everybody can read the way they want to read using this program. For more information about the National Library Service for the Blind and Physically Handicapped, Library of Congress, visit loc.gov slash that all may read or call 1-888-NLS-READ. Welcome back. We'll look at your weather forecast for this weekend. On Friday, we have a high of 90 degrees with a low of 71 with a 20% chance of rain. On Saturday, we have an eight, a high of 88 and a low of 74 with a 20% chance of rain. And in out your weekend on Sunday, we have a high of 87 and a low of 71 with a 60% chance of rain. This has been your weekend weather forecast. I'm Adam Stampley. Let's go back to the news desk. This rock apparently took a long trip through space to spend 30 years propping open a door in Michigan. Central Michigan University says the 22-pound rock is a meteorite. 
but not just any meteorite. It's the sixth largest recorded find in Michigan. The meteorite is worth an estimated of $100,000. A man says he inherited the rock when he bought a farm in 1988. The previous owner even told him at the time the meteorite fell to earth in the 1930s. The Smithsonian Institute and Mineral Museum in Maine are looking into purchasing the meteorite for display. On Thursday, Chris Evans announced he has officially hung up his shield. After playing Captain America for nearly a decade, Evans tweeted that it was over, thanking fans and saying how honored he is to be able to play the role of Captain America. The actor previously alluded to re retiring the character in a profile in the New York Times. Evans makes his final appearance as Captain America in the currently untitled Avengers 4 movie. While Evans' Captain America had a relatively small amount of screen time in this year's Avengers Infinity War, the writers of that movie in Avengers 4 have said that there will be much more cap in the next installment. Some birds in Minnesota are getting flocked up on fermented berries, according to the city of Gilbert. Police posted on Facebook that reports of birds throughout the town were flying into windows and windshields. The berries the birds are getting boozed up on are fermented earlier than usual due to the early frost this year in Minnesota. The Gilbert Police Department say the birds will likely sober up by Halloween. Today in entertainment news, we've got the inside scoop on the big musical drama opening this weekend and the latest award for an, a legendary actor and a sneak peek at a new comedy. Here's David Daniel with the Hollywood Minute. Tell me something, boy. Aren't you tired trying to fill that void? A Star is Born has so much music, you might think it was recorded in studio and lip synced for the film. Nope. Filmmakers say every performance was captured live, even at such festivals as Coachella and Stagecoach in California and Glastonbury in England. But those performances were not amplified, so the real crowds at those festivals couldn't record the songs and leak them online. Well, you never did that before, you know. Alan Alda is getting his union's highest honor. sag after says the award-winning actor, writer, and director is the next recipient of the SAG Life Achievement Award for fostering the finest ideals of the acting profession. Alda will be honored at the 55th Screen Actors Guild Awards on January 27th. <laughs> You need to wait your turn. Relax, it's not a hold up. Just sign this one, please. How would I sign it? I don't know. Slowly. <sighs> what, don't your arms work? They don't. Here's your first look at Kevin Hart and Brian Cranston in The Upside, based on the hit French film The Intouchables. Hart's ex con strikes up an unusual friendship with Cranston's paralyzed billionaire in the comedy, which co stars Nicole Kidman and opens in January. In Hollywood, I'm David Daniel. That's all the news we have for you today. I'm Sydney Potter. And I'm Sarah Patterson. We'll see you back here on Monday at 1230.